This is a quick overview of H5P from CCT College Dublin Centre for Teaching and Learning. H5P is an open source platform that enables you to create interactive multimedia content to promote student engagement in the online and physical teaching and learning environment. It's also a Moodle plugin. So I'm going to pop over to CCT's Moodle page or Moodle installation, should I say, and I'm going to go to the Centre for Teaching and Learning uh, page. You will be going to your relevant program page. And if I open one of the folders, I can actually show you where H5P resides. So click on add an activity or resource. Click on H5P interactive content and thanks to Ken Healy and Carl Gallagher for um, enabling this uh, plugin on our Moodle installation. Um, click add and we can start creating interactive content within our CCT Moodle installation. So another screen opens up. Um, it's called adding new interactive content. Um, you're asked for a description. I'm going to make a Padlet tutorial that I created earlier interactive. So I've just put that in as the title, interactive Padlet tutorial. Um, and if you come down here, you can see in the editor part, H5P, and you can see the huge range of options you have to create interactive content. There's multiple choices, fill in the blanks, drag the words, uh, dialogue cards, memory games, um, a huge range of options there. And I will be creating online tutorials on some of these options in the coming weeks. But today I'd like to focus on creating an interactive video. Unfortunately, despite a lot of work on um, installing H5P on our Moodle installation, we currently don't have the interactive video option available within Moodle. So this is something we will investigate. Perhaps it's something to do with our version of Moodle, we're on 3.5, I'm not entirely sure, but we will investigate and we will get that functionality enabled. In the meantime, you have full functionality on the H5P website itself. So you can create a free account or you can log in. So I'm actually just going to log in. And by the way, it's h5p.org to access the website. So I'm going to try out H5P. And you will see that the exact same screen pops up that popped up in Moodle, only this time we have the interactive video option there. Um, by the way, when we do enable the interactive video option on our Moodle installation, it looks exactly the same. And you can create something on the H5P platform here, which creates a URL, which you can just pop into your uh, Moodle pages. So I'm gonna click on interactive video. Um, it's going to ask me for some metadata, a title, so maybe we could call it using Padlet to facilitate student discussions. Student discussion. Could add on collaboration and so forth. Uh, the next step is to upload a video. There's actually three steps. Upload, embed a video, add interactions and then summary tasks. I find that one or two are sufficient. So you can add an MP4 file or you can add a URL. Um, as I uploaded my Padlet tutorial to YouTube, I'm going to pop this here and click Insert. It, adds you for, it asks you for some additional metadata in the interactive video field. Um, so I'm going to just, uh, apologies, call that uh, using Padlet. to facilitate student discussion. Um, you can hide the title on the video start screen. You can add a short description that will pop up when your interactive tutorial starts to play. You can add a poster image. You can only do that with the MP4 uh, version, not with the YouTube version. Um, but I actually don't tend to avail of any of these options. I, I keep it simple. 
if you go into behavioral settings, again, you can loop the video. There's lots of different options. But again, I just uh, keep it simple. And the one that I like is uh, start with the bookmarks menu open. So I'm actually going to create some bookmarks on my interactive tutorial uh, that people can jump forward to. And I like those to appear at the start of the video. Don't save at this point because that actually takes you out and saves the video as if it's completed. The next step is to add interactions. So here's the video. You have a range of interactive options um, at the top and also some on the bottom. You can add a label to pages. You can add tables, links, images. You can add multiple choice questions, fill in the blanks. Um, and uh, it's, it's very easy to do. So the first thing I would like to do is I would like to add some bookmarks. You drag, drag your cursor to where you would like the bookmarks to be. Okay. So there's one, for example, uh, which is templates. So maybe the Padlet templates, if you wanted to find out about that, you could put that in there. And you get this incredible art tab. Uh, what else can you do? You could go to a uh, wallpaper. Maybe you want to find out how to jump forward to wallpaper and change your wallpaper. So I'm good to... There we go. So I can add that here. Wallpaper. Select different back that you have where you can control students' calendar on them. Have a look at things like privacy. So I'm just going to bring that forward. You can email, share, Facebook, share. We're sharing, let's say privacy. And so um, you can create as many or as little um, bookmarks as you as you like. So I'm going to. I'm going to create, oops, sorry, delete that one. I'm going to create um, a new one called privacy. Um, so that's, that's bookmarks. I'm actually going to talk, turn myself down talking on that background video. Just bear with me. Um, so let's say at this juncture, we would like, as we get towards the end of the video, we would like maybe to add an MCQ just to test people's knowledge. So you literally just click multiple choice question. This throws you into the multiple choice question section. You can have a title. Maybe we call it something like test your knowledge. And you can have a question. What uses can Padlet, or perhaps a good word that letter, Padlet can be used <coughs> for the following options, can be used for the following purposes. Select one or more. And then I can give those options. So for example, maybe the first option could be discussion. Now this is just a very basic question. You're obviously going to have a much more uh, fine-tuned and newest question in terms of your course content. And then you can click correct because there's only a yes or no uh, answer. Another option I could add is, um, I think I put, did I put discussion in the previous one? I did, so I could say collaboration. Um, again, correct. I can add another option, a third option, as many as I like. And um, I'm going to add check learner understanding and progress. And again, that will be yes or no. Again, um, in behavioral settings, it's always in behavioral settings that you can fine tune a lot. Um, I can enable a retry button, a show solution button, uh, randomize answers. Um, there's lots of options, but actually I, I keep it simple and um, there's just a simple MCQ in this instance and the markings just 100% show score points and done. So now I have added a multiple choice to my um, tutorial. 
and I could actually possibly even add that as a bookmark if I want to. So MCQ. And if we move a little bit further along the video, maybe towards the end, I could add a useful link. And to do that, I just click on the link symbol. This will take me to this page. This is the article that I would like to link to using Padlet for Collaborative Learning. Pop back to my page, pop my URL in. I can give this link a title, maybe check out this um, useful article, or you might give it the title of the article. And it's really that simple, press done. I might actually add that as a bookmark as well. So maybe we'll add that as a bookmark. Useful article. And that's basically it. You've created an interactive tutorial. I'm going to save now at this point. And I now have an interactive tutorial. And if you remember, I asked that um, my bookmarks would come up. Uh, so I could hop forward to example, let's say the MCQ or the wallpaper. So let's hop forward to the MCQ. Apologies, my internet is a little bit slow. There's my MCQ, which I can take now. Padlet can be used for the following purposes, select one or more. I can say yes to all of those. And it tells me I've got the correct answer. I can continue on. And maybe I want to hop forward to the useful article, check out this useful article, and that will take me to the useful article. And here comes my article. Just to pop back to my interactive tutorial, you will have a URL here that you can pop into your Moodle page. Um, so there's lots and lots of functionality within H5P. Um, it really, really revitalizes um, your content, making it interactive, that little bit more exciting. Uh, just be careful if you're uh, editing something or making something interactive that isn't uh, produced by you, maybe by someone else, but people are very generous. There are Creative Commons materials out there that you can repurpose. Um, contingent upon the license um, for, for purposes like this, or you can ask the permission of a copyright holder, um, but you may also be producing your own material. So enjoy H5P and thank you for your time.